everyone, and welcome back to, <laughs> to Pokemon Insurgents. I almost said Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance because the only two things I've been recording lately are this and Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. And I very quickly realized, hey, this doesn't look like Kingdom Hearts at all. Anyways, uh, are my Pokemon... Wrong button. My Pokemon fully healed up, I think they are? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think I was supposed to level grind, but I didn't because I've been stupid busy and didn't have time to. But that's fine. So... Seems like I have a couple of options for water types. I can either go get the Totodile, because there is a Mega Fraligator, or there's a Delta Axu that is like one city away, and apparently it's a water type Axu. And I actually love the idea of having normal Haxorus and also having Delta Haxorus on the team. So I think I'm gonna go with that, or at least get to the Axu, catch it, and then see what it's like, and see if I wanna keep it or not. So yeah, that's the plan for now, which is why we still have the same team set up. Of course, there's a Houndoom as soon as I decide to lead with Lucario. Do you think- do I outspeed this? I, Houndoom has like base 110 speed or something, doesn't it? Oh, I can't escape. Well, you know, yeah, yeah, this is- this is wonderful. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's, uh, let's see if I outspeed it then, if it wants to be this way. It outspeeds me. I thought it would. Out of my face, Houndoom. You brought this upon yourself, you fool. Do, 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 do. Good life orb damage there. Alright, so now that that is out of the way, let's actually like hold M and go back and heal Lucario back up to full. And then continue on because I don't want to have to waste a potion. Because why waste a potion when you have the power of hyperspeed? Our goal for today is basically just to get to the next town and if the very next- I don't remember if it's the very next town or the town after the next one is where the Delta Axu is. Lone Wolf said- I think he said it was the next town over from Utira, but I can't remember for sure. But we'll see, basically. If we get to the town that uh, Delta Axu's in, I know it's in a place called the Trading Post. If we get to that town, then we'll check it out. I'm finally out of school and I'm ready to kick some butt. I'm gonna kick your butt. Get ready to face my Hariyama. Oh, have I got a Skyblade with your name on it. But yeah, that's the main goal for today, is to get to the next town and see what's happening there. And I'll probably die to a fighting type move here, but Skyblade. Crit! No, my crit! Where was it? Go for something stupid, Hariyama. Go for Belly Drum. Oh, I used Wake Up Slap. I'm dead. Vegeta tanked it! He's gonna die to Life Orb, but you know, it happened. Yep, there it goes. Okay. You know what? I think I've come to the decision that Life Orb is actually just not worth it. Uh, it's probably worth it in a... Hariyama, no, are you alright? Life Orb is probably worth it when we're not, like, going through a normal route, I would say. So, give me the Life Orb. You don't need it anymore. You have too much power. Uh, I'll give you an Expert Belt to make up for it, because I think I have one of those lying around. I'm in the medicine. Expert Belt. Yeah, right there. I had one left. There you go. Take the Expert Belt. Use that from now on. Life Orb just whittles you down too much, which isn't a big deal in, like, boss fights, but it's kind of annoying in normal battles. Dude, I think I see a hidden grotto. There's a small opening in the trees, dude. What is it? It's a Pokeball. A Max Repel. All right, well, you know. Okay, I accidentally talk to David there. Alright, so the hidden grottos are basically worthless. Or I just got a really bad draw there. Do 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 do. I think that's the exit to the route right there. We should fight some more people before we go. Do you mind if we have a battle when Pokemon need training and you look like easy experience? I was just thinking the same thing about you, believe it or not. Ace trainer Crisetta. What kind of a name is Crisetta? Oh no, an Ampharos! However, will I overcome an Ampharos, D-Dance? I know you have a second Pokemon in the back. I'm gonna boost up a little bit here. Oh no, Power Gym. That actually did more than I thought it would. I'm gonna just Dragon Claw. Cause I'm pretty sure even at plus two, it'll take two hits to kill. Yeah, plus two wouldn't have made the difference there, I don't think. Don't you dare get the para. Don't you dare. Good. Be out, be out, be gone. Words, how do they work? Level 50. No, static, why? Curse you, Virgil Hawkins. Uh, I don't want Swords Dance. D-Dance is better, Haimo. 
overall. Uh, Sceptile. I can live a hit from a Sceptile and probably Oko it with Dragon Claw. I think. Maybe. Let's find out. Oh, I used Detect. I should have set up a D-Dance. Why didn't I predict this? I got paralyzed anyway, so it's fine. Oh no, Slam. Chewed. Oko, 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 Oko. Yeah! Crit might have mattered. I don't know. Victory, thy name is Deva. Excuse me, you cheated. No, you're just bad. You even got hacks against me. You parried my plus one speed Haxorus. I really need to get Loki to where I can evolve him already. He's got to finish learning all these level up moves. What is this about? Sleeping soundly, apparently. You don't stand a chance against me. I'm a psychic. I can predict your every move. Can you predict me pressing Earthquake until all of your Pokemon are dead? Do 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 do. Oh no, a Grown Pig. If only I had some move that could hit it, like Earthquake. Easy chew. Get absolutely wrecked, Grumpig. I lived! No! It wasn't supposed to live. Yeah, payback. That'll do better. That did so little. I think I'm gonna recover more from lefties than I just lost to that payback, I think. I was at 147 before it hit. Let's see what it looks like after I get lefties. I got exactly that amount back. Oh no, Sucker Punch! From a Meow Stick. It did 14. Flappy is actually unstoppable. You cannot defeat Flappy. He is the greatest. I should have set up a defense curl. Got some more Lefty's recovery back. Good job, Flappy. Good job. How? How could I have lost? Turns out you're bad at the game. You know anything about... Unbelievable. You don't know anything about that Snorlax then. Okay. Uh, I don't think we've been in this house right here yet. Hello? Ever since Pika Taxi became popular, nobody really need, really has a need for the HMO2 anymore. I'd sell it to you, but I wouldn't blame you for not wanting to pay for it. You can just have it for free. Oh, well, you know. Thank you. Alright, cool. We have Fly now. That's pretty sick. Uh, I think we're good to bail now. Miara Town, I think is how that's pronounced. Ah, Miara Town, my favorite place in Torin. What a lovely, lovely town. It's peaceful, serene, and built over the shining sea. And of course, the Whirl Islands now rest just a route away. It's almost a shame, really. Perhaps when I flood the region, I'll leave this town for last. At last, the sea is awakening once more. It's time to bring its king his crown. All right. That blue lady gives me the willies. She doesn't seem very friendly. Gives you the willies. That's great. Miara Town was founded many years ago by sailors from the south. Our little town was the very first one in Torin. I think it's awesome that our great region had such humble beginnings. That's pretty cool. Because Miara Town is near the ocean, we often get travelers from overseas stopping by. That's why we have an international center here. It's where tourists first arrive when, visited, when visiting Torin. It's pretty cool. This definitely sounds like the place where a location called the Trading Post would be. So I bet this is the town that has a uh, Pika Taxi guys down there that has the, um, the Delta Axu. Here in Miara, we pride ourselves on our trading outpost. There it is. People from regions and countries all over the world gather here to trade Pokemon. It's definitely worth a visit if you're new in town. I will most certainly be visiting there. Hello? Have you ever heard of the Dragon Ruins? I hear it has some connection to Unovan mythology, but I can't really be sure. It's right next to Selene City. I might visit it someday. My daddy's a super famous Arche... Arca... Super famous explorer. I want to grow up just like him. Good for you. Hello? Why is the sun floor sitting in a- Oh, it was just- It stepped off as soon as I brought attention to it. I heard the auger went to Telnor Town and got attacked by assassins. Scary, I hope the same thing doesn't happen if he visits Miara. Did you know that poison types can never miss the move toxic? In my opinion, will wish should work the same with fire types. But hey, nothing about Pokemon really makes sense, does it? Dude, that's actually a great idea. Oh, what you got? I knew you'd add- Oh, a Dawnstone. Don't mind if I do. That is actually, like, a really cool idea. That will wish works the way Toxic does in that regard where poison types can't miss it, I'd be down for that. Jeffrey, one of the local celebrities, runs trade between Miara and other regions. He's been doing it for years. I have so much respect for the guy. I hear, I heard he's been having some trouble recently with some thieves, though. His ship, or ship-like thing, is just docked near the south end of the town, okay? You should keep your Pokemon healed and healthy. You need to stay safe. You look really a bit too young to be going on such a long journey. You know what? You can have these. I'm probably never going to use them anymore. Nice. Really helpful. Thank you. No, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to talk to you, though. That was a mistake. Okay. 
Where's the Pokemon Center? Like, really, though. If you're interested in fossils or artifacts, our museum is definitely the place for you. There's so many interesting things to learn about. Okay. So we have a museum here as well. You should check out the trading center in our town. I've seen offers ranging from Delta species to shiny Pokemon. Nice. Hello. Use these on your adventure. Sick. No, I didn't mean to talk to you again. I hope those Ultra Balls will help you out in the future. I appreciate it. Many thanks. Is there not a Pokemon Center in this town? Oh, it's right here in the middle. I just hadn't gone to the middle yet. Sick. Heal me up, nurse. Inject my Pokemon with those sweet, sweet healing juices. I don't know why I said it like that, but it just came to my mind, and I apologize. <laughs> Do, 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 do. All right, so this is probably this is probably the trading outpost. The one up top is probably the museum. Let's see if I'm right. Is this this doesn't look like a museum? This has got to be the trading outpost. My haunter, your Vigoroth. Yes. All right. You know that's a really good way to try and get a trade off. Somebody here wants to trade a Delta species Pokemon. Isn't that crazy? I agree. Let me talk to this person. I'll trade you my Machoke for a Beedrill. What do you think about that? Sorry, I don't have a Machoke, but good to know. I'll trade you my Tropius for Vibrava. How does that sound? Cool. This is a really cool idea to just have, like, one area that's a bunch of people wanting to trade. Me? Oh, no, I have nothing to trade. I'm just here for the fantastic culture exchange. Fair. Which one of you has the Delta Axu? I probably have the rarest Pokemon in the building, a Delta Pokemon. Ah, here we go. Oh, no, it's a coughing. That's not what I want at all. It's a coughing to be specific. If you want to trade for it, I'll need something valuable in return. How about a pseudo-legendary Pokemon? Or, at the very least, one of their pre-evolutions. Do I? I don't have any pseudos on me. I don't, I don't think I have a pseudo, period. I don't know where I could even catch a pseudo. Is there someone else in here that has, uh, Delta Axu? Uh, would you like to trade Pokemon with me? I don't really want my Slugma anymore. I'll accept any Pokemon for it. All right, well, I don't want a Slugma. Sorry. None of these people offered me a Delta Axu. I was lied to. Lone Wolf told me that there was a Delta Axu in here. Why have I been lied to, Lone Wolf? Explain yourself. That sucks, I really wanted to, now I'm excited for it. If you squint past the storm clouds, you can see a group of islands to the southeast. It might sound crazy, but I swear they weren't there a few months ago. I'm tempted to head down there and figure out what's going on, but I don't want to get in over my head. It's better to be safe than sorry. Apparently it's the Whirl Islands. Let's go into the museum. I'm actually gonna really, whoa, whoa, this music. I'm really quickly going to Google where to get the uh, Delta Axu. Insurgents Delta Axu location. Delta Axu location. All right, what do we what do we got here? Do, do Pokemon locations, the official Insurgents wiki. Walk forward and pay my fee as I go in here. Oh my goodness, it's literally every Pokemon in the Pokedex. Okay, I think the way the Insurgents Pokedex works is that all of the Deltas are at the very bottom of the... Yeah, yeah, here we go. Let me see if I can find Delta Axu on this list without hopefully spoiling. I'm trying to, like, very not look at all of the different Deltas I'm going by because I don't want to be spoiled to all of them. Delta, Delta, Delta. No, no, no. I think I might have accidentally passed over it. Do, 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 do. Oh, no, there it is. Delta Axu. Delta It's in the trade outpost. Only accessible by the sailor from Miara Town. What do you mean by the sailor? Trade Outpost is an outpost used by the entire Torn region to trade with the other regions such as Kanto and Alola. Due to pirates currently invading the outpost, the player is allowed access to the area. There was no... I'm, I'm confused. I'm so confused. Apparently, there's a sailor here in Miara that I need to find, so we're going to try and do that. Welcome to the Miara Town Museum. The entrance fee is 500. Yeah, I'll pay. That's fine. We measure the age of fossils through something called carbon dating. Basically, certain elements will decay over time into other ones. We can measure the amount of the original element and the element that it decays into, and since we know how long it takes to decay, all it takes is a bit of math. Curse you, math. Red meteorite. Cool. I love exploring museums and learning about the past. I would love to see a Kabutops before it became a fossil or an Aerodactyl. Dome fossil. Nice. Is there like a... What's with this like super ominous music? Helix fossil. Ancient Pokeball. This particular Pokeball is ancient and is unlike any we've ever seen. Carbon dating places its creation at a time where there weren't any Pokeballs at all. 
We've dubbed it the ancient po the ancient ball, and we still haven't quite found its purpose. That's cool. To be able to see fossils and relics of so long ago, it's absolutely stunning for an artist like me. It's the perfect inspiration. Plume fossil. My boy Archon. I ordered these fossils from the gift shop, but they gave me more than I needed. Why don't you have one instead? I don't need it. All right, sick. That's Aerodactyl right there, my boy. Evolutionary stones. Cool, cool. What is with this music? It's so not museum-y. It's incredible that we actually have an object as rare as the blue orb in the museum. Oh, no. It has such a rich history, from Hoenn to Johto. It's hard to believe it ended up here. This place is gonna get attacked. That's a shell fossil. Engravings of a lost civilization. Cool, cool. Armor fossil. Nice. Another ancient Pokeball. That white-haired woman gives off bad vibes, you know? Her aura is all out of whack, man. Ah, uh, so that abyss lady is here. Okay. I'm gonna quick save, just in case. I'm gonna lead with... Mayor, because we're probably gonna end up fighting some water types, which means Flappy is a horrible leading Pokemon. Let's go. I'm sorry, but this blue orb was donated. That's a blue orb up there. It doesn't look blue or orb like at all. This blue orb was donated to us by an important sponsor. It's very valuable, so I'll need to accompany you if you want to take a closer look. Sound good? Yeah, it's fine, man. This orb has quite the history. It powered Kyogre back in the days of the beginning of the universe. It was also involved in the Aqua Hoenn conflict 50 years ago. Whoa! The main story of Hoenn, or of Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald took place 50 years ago. That's a nice little touch. It was used by Archie to revert Kyogre to its primal form. Oh, specifically it was uh, Alpha Sapphire Omega Ruby. It was generously donated to us by someone who wishes to remain. Oh, no way. Oh, hey, it's this chick. Ah, hello, miss. I was just in a speech about this orb. Perhaps you... Oh, no, sorry. I'm only here for the relic. Ma'am, I'm sorry, but I can't. Save it. Let's make this easy for both of us. I'm sure you know of the Abyssal Cult. You mean the terrorists? Are you trying to intimidate me? Well, yes, actually. I'm kind of a murderer. It'd be easier for both of us if you just moved. You don't even look like one of their members. That's because I'm not. I'm the leader. Oh, no. Yes, thank you. <laughs> what What are you planning on doing with it? Well, you tell me. What could the leader of the Abyssal Cult possibly want with the artifact of Lugia? You, you must want it to summon... Wait, what? The blue orb is Kyogre's artifact, not Lugia's. Ah, here it is. A secret compartment. Clever. It's hard to believe the title bell was this easy to find. The title bell? But, but, please, why would I want some cheap plastic ball when Lugia's bell is resting underneath it? But that's the blue orb, the legendary artifact of Kyogre. You're absolutely right, but that's not the orb. A fake? How do you know? And how did you know the bell was there? The best place to hide something is in plain sight. Nobody would think to look for the bell next to a fake orb. And well, this cheap plastic ball here, I donated it. Why? What is she going to say? The suspense. Well, as the leader of the Abyssal Cult, everyone assumes I'm after Kyogre. Naturally, people don't want me getting my hands on the blue orb. Having a copy that's in a garden museum? Well, what better way to make everyone think I don't already have it? And don't think I haven't noticed you there, Chaos. Oh, darn. I thought that she'd completely missed me. You're the one that Mew chose? You want to stop me? Bring it. I'll be waiting. To the south of Miara lies the current location of the Whirl Islands. When you're ready to lose, just stop on by. I am going to decimate you. She knew your name. Just who exactly are you? I need to report this incident to my superiors. Oh man, I'm gonna be in so much trouble. Sucks to be him. Thank you for visiting. Yeah, yeah. So this takes me out to the Pika Taxi guy, right? Yeah! I saw something over here. It looks like some kind of a, uh... It looks like there is a, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, garden. Yeah, this right here. What is this about, huh? What you got going on here? I run a small garden out in the ocean. It's just a hobby, but I love doing it. The sea air is great for the lungs, and the plants are well hydrated. Gotta worry about, like, them getting over flooded, though. Too much water can kill the things. Dang it, wild Pokemon. You know what? Holding him. Tentacruel, what are you doing here? At such a high level, too. Oh, wait a minute. Is this guy over here the sailor? The man of legend? Who are you? Ahoy there, you look like a strapping young trainer. Do you think you could help me out with a little something? I could use the help of a mighty Pokemon user like yourself. What's up, man? Hey, thanks. You see, I'm a sailor around these parts. I organize trade between Torrin and places like Kanto and Alola. But this island I've been using for storing goods has been ransacked. By thieves and by pirates. Do you think you could help me clear it out? I'd pay you, of course. Dude, I'm down. Let's do it. Good to hear. Shall I take you there now? Let's do this. Let's be off. Thank you again. I am getting my Delta Axu. Let's go.
This is... Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. First quick save. This is like... A remix of the dive music from Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. It's not the exact same. I'm pretty sure it's got slight differences. Yeah, this is definitely not the same. What's up with you, dude? The boss man said I was Pirate of the Month. I gotta protect my title. <laughs> I don't know why I said it in that voice. Burglar West! I thought you were a pirate, not a burglar. Aw, oh, dang it. Why am I still leading with Mare? Whatever. Set up like three Calm Minds and then Oko his entire team. This puzzle won't be able to touch me. It tried to hit me with thunder. I am an electric ice Gardevoir. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh no, agility. Now it's faster than me. Whatever shall I do? Oh, it actually hit me that time. It did 11 damage. All right, I think plus three will probably let me like take out his entire team. Also, despite being pirates, these guys apparently do not have a bunch of water types going on. This man is agility, nasty plot, possibly baton pass, and then discharge. Or thunder, not discharge. I don't know why I said discharge. To do magneton, you say? It's actually like more worth it to get Flappy out here because Ice Beam and Shockwave even at plus three will take years to kill that thing. It'll take like at least three Ice Beams, maybe four or five. Oh no, Flash Cannon! Flash Cannon looks so ridiculous in this game, I love it. Don't have Sturdy. Don't have Sturdy. I don't think he had Sturdy. No, he did not. Awesome. Sick. Level 51, boys! My nun, you say? If I got some bad news for my nun. I have a Dawn fan. Trump card? That did nothing. I forgot Trump card was a move. I don't even remember how Trump card works. I know it's got some kind of fancy ability associated with it, but I just don't remember. What? What? No! Sucks to be that guy. All right. Do, 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 do. I'm going to lead with Critias. Let's lead with Critias. We haven't used Critias yet today, I'm pretty sure. I have got to remember to level grind off screen. Give me this. Do, do. There's a way in from the side here, it looks like. Apparently not. I did not mean to try and talk to Critias. All right, we'll just go in the normal way. What do we have in here? We got this guy here, a TM, yeah. I ain't got no tagline, let's just battle. All right, well, you know what? I like your style. I appreciate the cut of your jib. Burglar Dante. A Weavile, of course. An Ice Dark type as soon as I lead with my Ghost Dragon type. Why would I ever assume any different? Loki is literally my only option here because it resists both of Weavile's stabs. Dark Pulse, yeah, a special Weavile. How am I gonna overcome this? You know what? Set up a wish. After we kill this fool with Lava Plume, we'll get back to, like, full health with the wish. Ah, uh, you should have tried to snatch my wish beforehand, man. You can't snatch Lava Plume, I'm pretty sure. It lived! It's actually unstoppable. But hey, I'm back to full health. That's pretty good. Charge Beam. Ah, uh, excuse me? Another Weavile! <laughs> He can't be stopped. I'll Dazzling Gleam this one. Mix it up. Oh, he has a special Weavile and a physical Weavile. What a genius. Oh, I forgot about Weak Armor. <laughs> I like how whenever Weak Armor procs, it just replays the animation of whatever move hit uh, Loki to activate Weak Armor. Do, 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 do. Finally found a Pokemon that Loki can beat. Oh no, another Weavile. At like 2 HP. This thing definitely still outspeeds me. Yeah. Curse you, defense drop. Oh, and now it's gonna put me at minus, minus 2 defense plus 2 speed. Okay. Doesn't matter because this thing's dead. See you later, Weavile. It's been real. I probably would have won if I had a tagline. <laughs> no. No, you would not have. Sorry to burst your bubble. Solar Beam. Okay. No, I didn't want to... Dang it, Critias. 
do do do. This is like this building is way bigger on the inside than it is on the outside by like a lot. Do I really want to fight this guy? Yeah, let's do it. Oh wow, a kid. I guess I should just turn myself in. Not. What a doucher. Guitar? Is that how you say that name? Oh no! A Raichu! Whatever shall I do? Besides Mega Ball and click Shadow Ball. And then probably Okoen. Or at least bring it in range of Shadow Sneak. Whichever happens first. Destroy him, Critias. Chew this Thundershock. Why does it have Thundershock? And then kill it. You're as good as dead. It's over. Just die. It's too easy. Critias is unstoppable. Wait! Ah, I'm sorry. I don't think he's actually sorry. I think he's lying to me. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Where is my Delta Axu, though? That's a timer ball. Whoa! I'm just out here to steal some stuff. I'm honestly feeling so attacked right now. Oh, my goodness. I'm not even going to comment on that one. Burglar Dawn. He's got a Gigalith. This Gigalith stands no chance in case you were curious. Mega Evolve Critias and destroy him. Destroy him with your mighty dark wings of death. Do 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 do. Please die. Dang it. So close. I think he has sturdy anyways. I don't remember Gigalith's ability. Oh no, Sandstorm! Now what will I do? I didn't mean to click Shadow Ball. I meant to click Shadow Sneak, but what's done is done. I pressed space one too many times instead of clicking right. Level 52, though. Ninjask. Yeah, just stay in. I missed my Noctum. This thing shouldn't be able to Oko me in any way. Oh, well, you know. It can try to set up a Swords Dance so that it can. But I have Shadow Sneak, so none of this matters even if it lives. Which it didn't. Please don't hurt me. I'll hurt you all I want. Nice and timer ball. What do we have through this door? Hello? Ah, hello. You look fancy. You fight me? Ha, what a joke. I'm the boss man here. You wouldn't stand a chance. You haven't even fought my grunts. How do I even know you're worth my time? You wouldn't last five minutes against me. Excuse me? Dude, I bet my Delta Axu is right back there. I bet. Uh, apparently I have to fight all of his grunts, but I thought I had. That's why I'm hyperspeeding right now to find the one I missed. He's got to be outside then. Did I go over here to the right? No, this guy. Okay, I should have stopped holding him. Hey, what are you doing? We're robbing this place fair and square. I don't think you know what those words mean. Burglar Dennis! He's only got an APOM! Even though I'm not using Ghost-type moves, it's still worth Mega Evolving and setting up Noctum because it'll do, uh, it'll do more damage. Alright, Dragon Pulse will do more damage because I'll be Mega Evolved and my special attack stat will go through the roof. See you later, APOM. No way you're living. Called it. Because one man had an APOM that I had yet to fight, he thought I wouldn't be able to fight him. I didn't stand a chance, clearly. Is that the last one there? I think so. Let's grab this super potion. I think I'm going to actually wrap up here. And uh, I keep accidentally talking to Critias. I think I'm going to wrap up here, and when we come back next time, we'll go back and fight the boss man. And hopefully catch Delta Axu. I think that's what we're going to do. So yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. When we come back next time, we're going to catch Delta Axu. Uh, we're also going to go do something else that I was going to do today if I had time, but I didn't today. So we have two, uh, we have getting Delta Axu, fighting Boss Man, the mystery thing I'm talking about, and then we'll probably start making our way towards the Whirl Islands, although I'll, I doubt we'll get all the way down to the bottom of the Whirl Islands, assuming we have to actually go through them. But uh, yeah, that's the main plan for next time. I'll see you all then, and until that time, farewell.